Okay. So, um, I have my whole two and three zero, um, five five, um, flyback driver set up. So, um, just want to show how it kind of works. Um, kind of just taking a video of the arcing that I'm getting from it. So, let's just get started. Um, I have my 12 volt, well, approximately 12 volt car jumper. Well, car jumper. Um, have it, I have my negative input hooked up to a switch. Um, goes into the 30 ohm resistor. Then that goes to my feedback coil. My positive output is going into my 220 ohm resistor. It's 5 watts. This one's 2 watt. Um, and this would go to our primary coil. Our um, positive, negative that's negative input would go to our 200, I mean, 2 and 3, 0, 5, 5 transistor. Has a heat sink on it, keep it from getting too hot. Um, then it would go, our base, coming out of our base, would be the base energy going to our primary coil. And this, all oh, this right here, is also going to our feedback coil, just like his little cousin over here. So, um, just going to show how this all works. Well, actually, this is the base, and that is, uh, not the emitter, but it starts with a C. Can't quite remember, but anyway... Our collector, our collector. So that's just going to go there. You actually really don't have to do that much to find our ground wire on the bottom of our flyback. Because you can actually just kind of go around with your secondary coil right here. And just kind of go around until you see an arc. Or you can go to the place where our arc is gapping between two pins. Which in my case would be right around here. So, while I just flip this switch, I'll show you what I'm getting out of this. So these arcs are about a half inch long. Nothing too fancy. Um... Yeah, it is kind of safe to arc to the other components of our circuit, but I, like, don't know if it will actually, like, break it or short-circuit it to any chance, but I really suggest not doing it. It still arcs to it, but, I mean, yeah, just kind of leave it alone and just worry about this. So, um... This can actually do quite a bit. You can actually um, make a plasma globe out of it, and I don't really feel like um, showing it in this video. But, I mean, yeah. So, have this all going. Um, but, if anyone can help, I actually have another flyback transformer with a feedback and primary coil. Have, I hooked it up in all the different ways I possibly can. They're both winding the same way. Might as well turn this off. Kind of a waste of energy. Um, oh yeah, you always want to discharge this before. Um, you just leave it alone because you can touch it by accident and electrocute yourself. Minor shock. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually not so sure why this isn't working. I tried everything though. So, I don't know why this actually isn't working. But, I mean... I just hope that you guys can, like, somehow tell me. Like, anyone. I mean, anyone. This... So, um... 
Thus, can anyone help me figure out why this isn't working or help me on how to make this work? Have the both of the windings winding the same way. So, um, don't really see what the problem is here, but that's all the time that I'm really going to spend on this video, so, bye.